Hello lovelies, today we're taking a look at the Yellow Book of Brackevold by Matt Strom for Lamentations of the Flame Princess. This has a ribbon, which we all know I like, I'm a sucker for a ribbon, and it's uh, hardcover and it's a, it's a chonky boy at uh, 160 pages looks chonkier but 160 pages is is reasonably chonky it's roughly a5 in size as well um i wanted to like this more than i ended up liking it it's a campaign book and described as what if jack vance wrote harry potter as a sequel to th white's the once and future king um I didn't get a huge amount of Vanceyness from it. I think it will disappoint Harry Potter fans in particular, and of those influences, The Once and Future King is probably the strongest. So it is a loose-ish campaign that, they, that takes place in and around the environs of a magical school in a castle. Uh, the setting is meant to be a bit older than you would normally expect from a Lamentations adventure, and it's also much more fairy tale than a lot of Lamentations material is, though I would say it's a bit truer to the original fairy tales and their nastiness and oddness than modern interpretations of fairy tales are. Now the basic and fundamental problem with this book that I have is that of its 160 pages only really about 40 are relating to the school and its operations and the classes that the school has, not classes that you can play, um, and how to structure that kind of school campaign it almost kind of brushes past the the school um in its operation to fixate much more on the school as a, a setting as a as a dungeon and the attendant area around the school as a set of dungeons and so on that you can get involved in i would have preferred the proportions to be well, not exactly opposite, but closer to opposite than they are. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be somewhat disappointing to people who are looking for uh, a, a Potter-esque a game to play uh, because it just uh, it doesn't spend enough time and effort on the on the school and the staff and and that kind of thing. I mean. Actually running a, a, a wizard school or a wizard university campaign always sounds like more fun than it actually is because you do have to gloss over a lot of the classes because they're not what's interesting. It's what you do outside of the classes that's, that's interesting. But even so, this could have done with more structure and ideas around the classes and the staff and the, and the school, even if it was going to be more... Grange Hill or Behind the Bike Sheds, my, my preferred school TV show, uh, then it was ever going to be um, Potter-esque, particularly. You know, at this point, Rowling might finally be willing to accept a proposal for a tabletop RPG, but it would probably be instant death to anyone who pursued it, thanks to her, uh, her trans views. But then, yeah, that computer game came out and did well so who knows um, but if you're looking for a knockoff this isn't really it unfortunately there's some Cthuloid elements that come in um, there's some there's some other influences and ideas that, that come in as well uh, the art is that kind of naive outsider art style with a with a bit of fairy tale thrown in I don't particularly like this kind of art style, your mileage may vary, but it just it doesn't it doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. 
I felt like something more more baroque um, might have worked better, or to have gone full medieval uh, in style. But it's it's neither of those really. You do get character sheets for the various uh, members of staff plus what they teach. You get so a kind of bare bones idea of how long characters are going to spend at the school and how powerful they're going to be when they come out but it's never really explicitly described so you're going to have to come up with your with your own ideas there personally i would probably start characters at level zero arriving at level one uh two and three after the succeeding years in the school because time you spend there is going to be about four years so you know zero one two three would be how I would do it but obviously magic users are pretty fragile and if you're running a party of magic users it can be hard to differentiate yourself statistically and in terms of spell choices and so on at the lower levels which is another disadvantage of this kind of campaign and anyone not playing a wizard or perhaps a cleric is going to feel like a bit of a, a third wheel at the table unfortunately so you know there's a lot of a lot of things to consider when running into the game. So the the rest of the book is pretty much different areas of the castle, how they might be treated as uh, dungeon areas, what can be found here and there in them. Could have done with a bit more detail and ideas for uses for the rooms or little sub scenes that you could do in there or example classes. Um, for the various teachings, the, these are things that this probably could have done with. Um, then you get into the dungeons and things outside, and that takes up a, a further bulk of the book. The idea is that you spend time in classes, you learn rumours from your classes. Those rumours then lend themselves to you going and exploring a particular dungeon and then moving on to the next term or set of circumstances with essentially two terms per year if I remember correctly um, there's fairly nice reference stuff at the end so you can find everything uh, some reasonable tables and so on that you could turn into random tables if they're not already random tables um, some nice suggestions for inspiration that you can go and look at not just books but games films and artists as well it's always worth checking those out when a when a writer includes them a demon generator yeah, it's, it doesn't feel particularly in keeping with lamentations uh, necessarily it's much more fairy tale uh, a knight errant generator uh, which put me in mind of the scene of the tournament in Jabberwocky. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. Um, the fairy knight generator, however, I felt was, was rather useful um, and perhaps more in keeping with the setting and with Lamentations than necessarily a, a, a lot of what you find in here might be. But overall, it's still a bit of a disappointment um, that you may find the kind of seasonal ideas appealing if you were into that in Mage and Ars Magica and then frankly this felt like it would have worked a lot better as an Ars Magica adventure and, and setting book than one necessarily for Lamentations um, but I have written material about School Kid Wizards myself so I do appreciate how difficult it is to make it into a, a playable something anything really but yeah this was a bit of a disappointment especially being the the, the, the biggest bulkiest most chonky boy of the of the new releases in terms of style I mean if you don't like the naive outsider art style as I don't you're not gonna rate the style of this book particularly highly um, the amount of time that it spends on what I would consider to be the heart 
of this kind of campaign is is also disappointing but what is there is evocative I don't think this is really at its heart a Lamentations product it doesn't have the right feel and sense the only part of it that really fits into the Lamentations milieu if you will is the uh, Cthuloid intrusion and, and influence on, on the game on the book the rest feels kind of out of place but wouldn't feel out of place for a different osr game and that's one of the advantages of the osr you can take something and you can plant it into whatever slightly different version uh, you might have it might even work well with the black sword hack where you're able to take your character in a number of different directions and, and play it there um, Tinting it a little bit darker, perhaps more gothic, uh, would also make it work. So I, I'm not sure, just not sure this is really a Lamentations book, really a Lamentations product, but that doesn't mean it's useless or it can't be used with other old school games, or that you can't play Lamentations with a slightly lighter take. But you know, I've got to review it in context for what it is, for what it's what it's for. Style then, uh a low three, I'm afraid. Uh, like I said, I wanted to like it more, but it just left me with a profound sense of meh about the whole thing. It, it didn't, it just didn't excite me, didn't do it for me. In terms of substance, um, there's only about a quarter of the book, plus a few pages at the end, that are more broadly applicable. You know, I, I guess you can take the dungeons and, and and places and take them elsewhere. You can use the castle as a dungeon in and of itself, or as a backdrop or something. Uh, but even so, you know, that's only a, a quarter of the material that is reusable for other things. You know, the, the the substance of it is is fairly thin. Yeah, if all of it was super useful and could be reused elsewhere, that would give you what five out of five but as as things stand it's only about a quarter of it that's useful which means i have to give it a score between one and two i guess because there's the latter material at the end like the fairy knight generator which could be used elsewhere i'll, I'll bump that up to a two um so style is a low three substance is a low two it's five out of ten two and a half out of five that's, that's bang on the average mark and you expect better for lamentations if it was for, for explicitly designed for something other than lamentations i would give it a higher score if the art was better it would have a higher score if those two circumstances were were met it might be at a at a seven out of ten you know three and a half out of five good for someone if that's what they were into but I, sadly I can't really recommend it your mileage may vary my taste is my taste my dislike for this style of art is my dislike for this style of art I like my lamentations to be of a particular flavor this isn't of that flavor but you may you may appreciate it more but for me this was disappointing and a real shame because it's the one I wanted to like the most but didn't Sang. I very occasionally record podcasts, which you can find at anchor.fm slash Grimstales.